as, as we were on commercial break, this happened, and I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. I have no words. Looks like the Ashley sisters called a truce. truly is danger among us if the Ashleys have come together to say all is fair and love and war. And I'm sure there is a suspension coming for Denise Ashley as well. In the meantime, it's the greatest tag team to ever set foot in wrestling today. champions of the world. Legend. I'm like, oh, dude, baby. It has been a, a shocking night, to say the least. As the Ashley sisters seem as if they have came together right before spring breaking as Jaden Ashley goes for the global championship. Oh, man. Flabbergasted by this that I can't even talk about the greatest tag team in the world. But the opponent is one half of Flo Gato del Fantasma, Lauren Santos. And you know that she was not coming out here without Megan Ramirez by her side. The OG. The Battle of Del Fantasma, Megan Ramirez, and Lauren Santos. As they are challenging the living legends for the PWW Undisputed Tag Team Championship at PWW Spring Breakin'. I'm sure by Girl Fight we will have word on Denise Ashley and what is coming down to her. As thank God that our kind referee is okay and he is ready to call this match and we are ready for a fight right here on Monday Night Fury. I'm like, oh good baby. Let's get it on. And we are having us a little part partnerless action between these two tag teams in the Living Legends and Logado Del Fantasma Santos right quick to the cover on water and she kicks out maybe I should have waited but uh, as we were on commercial Denise Ashley to the ring to call out Whitney Jordan which was a surprise at that considering that Jaden Ashley is the one who has been going after Whitney Jordan and it seems that it was all a setup as Jaden Ashley came from behind to take out Whitney Jordan as Lauren Santos is putting on a dominating show right now against Woodard and and look and look at Sarah Sarah Woodard up on the rope on the apron as Kelly takes down Santos now but back to and Jade Nashley attacked Whitney Jordan as she was on the way to the ring and here's a cover by Kelly Water Sarah Water Kelly Water they look alike <laughs> As Woodard went flying through the air. And she's going for number two. Here's the cover. 
And Santos is going to kick out, but I do believe that the referee might have a bit of head trauma. As that was surely three to me. And Jaden Ashley gets the attack on Whitney Jordan, and the ref was on his way into the ring. And Denise Ashley helped him up, gave him a suplex, and that was all we were willing to show. And look at Santos! Oh my god! Down goes Water. Here's the cover. One, two, and Water barely kicks out of that one. It's been all Santos. It's been all Logato Del Fantasma in this fight. A little pre fight before the tag match at spring breaking. And there it is. That's good night, Sarah Water. Thanks for playing. See you at spring breaking. Lauren Santos with the win. Delgado Del Fantasma with a little momentum going in to the weekend. The Queen Kitty J taking on the Intercontinental Champion. Coming up next. And that's all good, baby. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. I must correct my own mistake. Tiffany Max is the light heavyweight champion, not intercontinental champion. And speaking of light heavyweight champion, all hail the queen. It's the longest reign WWE light heavyweight champion in history. It's Kitty J. And she is set to take on Rose. Rose won the Intercontinental Championship in her debut. We all remember that. No relation to man. Woo, it is heating up on Monday Night Fury. And it is just getting better as right after this one. We are down to the main event. And it is for the new PWW Hybrid Championship. It don't get no better than that, baby. Get you some Green Bay. Put some respect on it, Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's the PWW Intercontinental Champion, Violet Rose. No relation to Mandy, I assure you. It's the Intercontinental Champion, and she is set to face a former champion in Kitty Jade. Kitty Jade still looking for some more gold here in PWW as she has not had a chance for any since losing the light heavyweight championship and nobody has been able to get a rein, get a grip on that belt since she has lost it. But right now the concentration is on Violet Rose and the Intercontinental Championship but this is a non-title match. I'm going to call Wood, baby. Let's get it on. Earlier tonight before the show, I saw Kitty Jade having a conversation with the general manager. It's win and get in. She can win this. She's in spring breaking for a title shot for the Intercontinental Championship. As look at the champ now. And here's the cover. One. And Violet Rose, the champion, did the unthinkable and won the belt. At her debut in her hometown, and that is something that dreams are made of. And Kitty J don't give a shit about that as she takes out the champ with the back of the head onto her knee. Now she's at the middle rope, flying cross body. And going for the cover. One, two, and Violet Rose kicks out. All Kitty Jade has to do is win. She is in. No stipulations on the match so far. Don't know if it's a triple threat, a fatal four-way. Hell, it could be five or six. But at least Kitty Jade wants to be a part of it. And she must beat Violet Rose tonight. And look at Rose. Nice reversal. And going to swing Kitty Jade now into the turn buckle. And... Nice move, Hurricanrana. 
by Violet Rose. And Kitty J. Oh my God. What a fallen DDT that was. The little spinner Rooney around the body of Violet plays to the crowd and letting Violet no Rose know who the true queen is on Monday Night Fury. This is the last one before PWW Spring Breaking this weekend. That is one that you do not want to miss. And don't forget to check out PWW Thursday Night Girl Fight on a Thursday night. Things are heating up as well for that one as PWW Rage in the Cage will be coming at you this month. And we've got them on the outside now. And Kitty Jade says, no ma'am. Thank you very much. Get your ass up against the barricade and look at Violet Rose now. She is not scared of the queen. That is uh, for sure and this could turn into a great battle at spring breaking and a slingshot move by Violet Rose sends Kitty Jade up against the barricade and to avoid a count out they're sliding into the ring and Kitty Jade is the first on the attack. Puts Rose into the turnbuckle. Swings her. Oh good night Violet Rose. Oh my god. What a move by the queen. Here's the cover. One. And Violet Rose kicks out. What a fight this is. Leading up to the main event. Which is for the brand new PWW Hybrid Championship. Every match is no holds bar. Every match is no disqualification. You win by pin or knockout only. That is it. That is how it goes for the Hybrid Championship, for the Hybrid Division, as Kitty J flying now with a knee to the skull of Violet Rose. And stands over her for a minute to gaze at her work and Violet Rose and kicks out. I'm excited for this new championship and Raiden Hancock and Jade X are the finalists from that blackout tournament. They're going at it tonight as Kitty Jade now at the top turn and she nails it right on top of the champ. She is going to pull that lifeless body of Violet Rose on top of the Fury logo and gonna lock in the finger four. And she's gonna take it straight to the eight. Will Violet Rose tap out? Is she gonna get the chance to tap? And Kitty Jane gonna lock in that chance at the Intercontinental Championship at Spring Break It. No. Kitty Jade is releasing the hold and she's going for the cover. She might just do it right here. And the queen is in PWW Spring Breaking. Coming up next is the PWW Hybrid Championship. On the line for the first time ever. Here is your and that's all wood, baby. Don't go nowhere. You'll be right back. I like shining, I like million dollar deals, where's my pen, bitch I'm signing I like those Balenciagas, the ones that look like socks I like going to the jeweler, I put rocks all in my watch I like sexes from my exes when they want a second chance I like proving